Senator Murray, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you even more for being such a spectacular champion for women, for families, for moms, for dads, for people across the country, and for parents. As you know, parents are in a state of emergency and we need a care infrastructure yesterday. In fact, we went into the pandemic with our care infrastructure hanging by a thread and that thread has unraveled altogether. And that care infrastructure means childcare and pre-K. It means paid family medical leave. It means home and community-based services for people who are elderly and people with disabilities. It means monthly child tax credit checks being extended and the momnibus and more. We're right here in front of the U.S. Capitol. Can you share with us a little bit about what's going on inside the Capitol to bring the care infrastructure to people outside the Capitol? And thank you again for all you're doing to championing making those changes that we all need. Oh, thank you. It's great, great to have you here. And thank you for all the work you do. It is just incredibly important to help influence what we are doing here in the nation's capital. What you just described is what every mom and a lot of dads live through every single day. How am I going to go to work, put food on the table, take care of my kids? I don't have childcare. Um, I don't have the ability to make sure that I can do what I need to do to make my family safe and secure. These are just basic principles that our country should already have established, whether it's childcare, pre-K, whether it's the ability to take time off when you've had a baby or a seriously ill parent, the child tax credit, all of these issues really are what allow women to be at work and be economically productive. Why is that important? Because then our country works better if everybody can work and uh, be able to achieve that. So inside the Capitol, it is frustrating right now. We wanted so badly to have these policies passed and in place by now. And obviously we've been facing Republican obstruction um, who are just not not letting us move forward and it is frustrating but here's my message to everybody now is not the time to give up we have come a long ways from several years ago where I had to beg people to talk about this to now this is virtually every conversation I have in our Democratic caucus about how important this is. So raise your voices, talk about what happened to you personally, why it's so important to you, where you could be if you had childcare or paid family leave now that you couldn't be because you didn't. So this is really a critical time. You brought up something really important and that's that having access to childcare and having access to paid family medical leave are actually labor force participation measures. Yeah. It helps people stay in much needed jobs. And this is really important because studies are showing that with the cost of living rising, having people be pushed out of their jobs is actually hurting supply chains and right. then it's raising inflation. So we have the answer to some really important crises that are facing America with passing childcare and pre-K and paid family medical leave. But it's pretty rare that people talk about the return on investment to businesses, which are high. We saw Jerome Powell, who is the head of the Federal Reserve, recently say that for our economy as a whole, we need that care infrastructure. What are people saying from businesses about why they need these policies too? Well, businesses need that because they need employers at work. And if they can't hire employers, guess what we all see? Empty stores at the empty shelves at the grocery store. We see higher gas prices. We see those costs that are so important to us grow because there isn't any people there to actually manufacture, truck, put those um, goods on the shelf so that you can purchase them. It takes people to run our economy. And you can't have people if people can't go to work. And people can't go to work if they're worried about their kids, there's no place for them to go. Yeah, and we saw that in the data, that about 42% of women who have been pushed out of the labor force during the pandemic were pushed out of the labor force specifically because they didn't have access to any childcare. So you mentioned something else, and that's that in many of the meetings that you're going to right now, you're hearing lots of senators talking about the need for these policies to lift our economy, to lift businesses, and of course to lift families. Can you share with people a little bit about how it's looking in terms of additional champions who are standing with you in Congress and how that's going? Well, I think we were all really disappointed right before Christmas when we thought this was going to pass. And a couple of senators said, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to do it right now. We need to have additional time. Well, the additional time is up. And now we're really looking at what we can accomplish between now and November. So we need, we have to have people saying, don't leave this off the table right now. And that's what I'm doing inside those rooms. That's what I need everybody outside the rooms to be doing. Well, we're hearing that stories are important. Sharing our personal stories are important. We're also hearing from you, thank you so much, that our phone calls are important. Oh my gosh, yes. Some people don't believe it. Some people don't believe that their voice has an impact and that it matters. 
What's the inside take on outside voices? What, what, we are all busy. We have a thousand things going on. When we are hearing from people at home who vote for us that they want this issue to be a topic of discussion and not just a discussion, but to get something passed. And we hear numbers of people, it makes a difference because we know we can't go home and face folks in our communities if we haven't really listened to what they said and what they need. These are, these are issues I'm hearing everywhere. Uh, you need to be talking to your legislators too. I don't care what state you're in yeah. because they cannot ignore you. Absolutely, and we're hearing that whether you're a Democrat, a Republican, an Independent, whether the Congress member is already on your side, still give them a phone call and say pass the care infrastructure. It really helps. Because I go inside that room and I go, oh my gosh, I had 25 calls yesterday on this. People are not giving up. We need to get this done. Give us that backing. I love it. You have been a champion for child care and pre-K for so long, and you've done such a tremendous job bringing this forward. What is your favorite thing about those policy areas and what's happening with those policy areas right now? You know, when I first came to the Senate, no one was talking about these issues. I'd raise them everywhere because I happened to be a mom with young kids, and I knew what it meant to have a child care system that allowed me to go to work here in the nation's capital. And I was not echoed anywhere. No one else was talking about it, kind of pat on the head. Now everybody's talking about it. Now's our time. Thank you so much for being yeah. on. Thank you for all you do. Let's give Senator Murray a standing ovation wherever you are. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I get Thank a hug. You. Thank you so much. So great to see you. Thank you. You heard it direct from the Capitol steps. The data is in, and the pandemic has had an outsized impact on women and moms, with women of color experiencing compounded health and economic harms due to structural racism. You've also heard that solutions are possible and momentum is growing, and momentum will grow even more if you make a call to your U.S. Senator. We heard that from U.S. Senator Patty Murray just moments ago. So we've made it easy for those calls to happen. You can just text, we care capital W-E-C-A-R-E, -E, We Care, to 747-464. When you text We Care to 747-464, we'll get back in touch with you and then connect you directly to your U.S. Senator so you can tell them, care can't wait. Pass the care infrastructure right now. Thanks so much for tuning in.